Hello, it's Sarah. And I've been playing with my Fuse and I'm uploading a, as we speak um, a couple of different things, but I thought I'd come back and try and do a tutorial on these little shakers. Um, I know that there are others out there, but I am going to be using my Fuse and the pointy tip instead of the wheel tip. So um, I wanted to share that because that tip will um, cut and fuse at the same time if all goes well. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. Um, Irene has a great, uh, Crafty Irena, has a great tutorial for little shakers that she's been making. I saw the cloud on another one and I can't remember whose tutorial it was, but I freehanded this one. This is actually a wooden shape that I just went around to make that heart. And this little man in the moon is a cookie cutter. And I got this. This was 69 cents at AC Moore. So what I did was, I after seeing that, I thought, oh, I have cookie cutters. I have a heart. I have this flower, which I'm going to try today. And I have a star, which may be a little more tricky. But I want to play with these and take you along with me and see how it goes. Um, so let's see. I want to try the the flower because I don't want to go simple. Let's mess up on camera. It's great. Um, I've had my fuse on for a little while. These are, I've just cut apart some of the sections of um, the nine po page pocket protectors. Oops, sorry. You know, the, the, that we're using for the um, pocket letters. I just cut apart sections of it so that I have two sides and it's kind of held together. So I have them set aside. And then I have a tile. Um, uh, you can fuse fine with the um, the round tip on just paper and you're fine. You won't burn through to your uh, craft mat or anything. But for this tip, I'm really not sure. So I really just wanted to keep, this is a tile, a uh, ceramic tile that I use for clay. And then I have paper as well, which I probably don't need the paper. Hmm. Um, I use the paper with the graph. Thank you, Lolly, because the grid lines are really helpful um, to keep things straight. But for this, I think I might just do, and it'll be hard to see. Hopefully, you'll be able to see. And I'm going to try and do this flower. Now, the idea is you just want to... Um, leave yourself a, a place to uh, put your sequins and things in here. So hopefully you'll be able to see well enough what I'm doing. And I am just going to take and putting pressure and following the shape of this cookie cutter. Ouch, I touched it, didn't mean to do that. And it kind of sticks as you're going, so I think I got to that part. I'm just going to do one more petal. And I'm moving kind of slow, so let's see what, how that went. So you can see one, two, three, four petals. Let's see if it, if it cut. Yeah, it cut. Okay, see how it cuts? This maybe needs a little more. And this I didn't quite connect. So I'm just going to freehand a connection here. See if I can get that to cut. Yes. Okay, that cut now. And this is the only place that's not cut. Just be careful because as I'm doing this, I'm not watching where I'm touching the fuse and it's kind of there we go. All right, now the tricky part is we want to see if it all, I just have to open it. Make sure you leave enough room for uh, to finish it. I'm just going to cut this scrap part off. All right, so hopefully I have a pocket and I'm just going to use my um, bone folder and open this end. Jeez. Stick it in there. Up, oh, see I came right out here. That's pretty good. All right, so this is kind of a fail. Not the best. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to just try it again. Take another one because I want to see what I did wrong. I think this time I'm also going to put paper underneath. 
because you know why? When you fuse the plastic, it sticks to the paper. I'm going to use the same flour and I'm going to put a bit more pressure. I'm going to put the camera up here. Oh, right in a shadow, whatever. Um, and I'm going to hold this and I'm going to really put a little more pressure. I'm going to do... I'm really holding the uh, cookie cutter down hard and I'm really kind of pushing that tip into the plastic. Okay, stop. Oh, it came off. And turn. Let's see if it cut. Yeah, that's cutting, I can tell. So I'm just going to put that oop, back on. And I hope we get success because these are sure cute. I'm pushing nice and hard. And I'm going to stop at the top of the petal instead of at the corner. Let's see if this cut. Oh, that cut much better. Much better. All right, now hopefully we sealed as well. So I'm just going to cut this off and stick my bone folder in the because this pocket's open. Jeez, there we go. Ooh, fused, fused, yes. This is all fused so far, okay? So let's see, I have sequins around here somewhere. Let's see, I'm gonna put some of these, uh, I'm gonna put a butterfly. And I should have set these aside all ready to go. But I think I want this silver butterfly. Um, I want some green. No, do I want green? No, I don't want green. Um, hold on. See this? I'm going to put them in here. This is like a bead thingy that I have for my beads. But I want to put a silver butterfly and maybe a couple of these flowers. That'll be good. Oh, I like this little purple one. That one, that one. And that one. And then I think I'm going to break out some, I like these silver flowers, these are pretty. These are just silver, like flower shape sequins. And then I'm going to put some little, like, this is glass glitter, glass glitter. Put that in there. And some of these, um, these are chunky glitter and this is like an iridescent white oh dear that's a lot <laughs> and then let's see that's actually let's see let's see what this looks like if I even want to add any more there's an art to this okay so just kind of stuff it in there and you never know what you're gonna get I mean it definitely will be blingy and you know what? If you want to see the um, the bigger pieces, probably don't put as much little in there. Um, I want to put a couple of purple, just some purple, um, little purples, and little pink like this kind. All right, so I should have had this all ready to go beforehand and just kind of stuffed it in here just to give it some more pop of color. All right, so that's it. That's all I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna go away and come back just because uh, I was getting close to time. All right, so let's find the best way to put this back on. That looks good. And definitely give pressure on this side. And definitely give pressure uh, all the way around now lots of pressure because here's the thing if it's not sealed um, all our stuff's gonna fall out okay let's see how it went see the paper is a good indicator of if things I think we're good I think I hope Let's see, just a little shake. Yay, see how it seals and cuts and you're done. And look, it looks pretty. Hold on, let me shake it all around. 
what I'm figuring out too is um, when you've done it, what looks prettiest inside? See how kind of like the small glitter kind of um, goes to the back. The fat glitter, like you have to kind of figure out what you want to see in there if you just want sequins. Like that's why I love the Man in the Moon because it's just covered with the bit. The whole thing is covered. There's nothing different. Um, the pink one turned out pretty cool. I like that there's just big, big um, sequins. And then look, it's just that chunky. Oh, you know what else I put in there? Uh, these things. Ooh, I want to do one with some of these this time. Let's see. I want to try and do a smaller heart. I mean a smaller heart, a smaller flower. Or should I do another shape? Let's do the star. All right, let's do the star. I'm going to put this back over here. And once again, I'm just going to grab one of these things that's already ready to go. That I think the paper makes a difference. And you can tell that it's adhering because the... Um, I'm going to do it this way because it, the, the fusing, when you fuse it, it sticks to the paper. So I'm just going to hold it like this. Make sure you're giving enough pressure here and I'm going to go around the star. Pushing hard. Can't talk and fuse at the same time. When you get to the tips, I'm really pressing hard. Um, just kind of stop because it, well actually, you can fix that with scissors. You just want to make sure it fuses. So you can tell it's stuck to the paper. So that's how I know it definitely fused. Let's see if it cut. Got to make sure, oh, there it is, okay. See how it cuts and fuses at the same time? That didn't, but that did. So I'm just gonna, right here, hopefully go straight. It's kind of hard to do it without anything up against it. It makes it more um, hard to do. All right, I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna put some sequins in. Now for stars, what do you think we could do? Um, I would like to put some like, I don't have yellow. Oh, I have gold. Oh, I do have gold. Let's do a gold star and just play with the different, um, do I have any? Oh, I don't have any little uh, of those. You know what? You can use seed beads. Different beads is probably a great way to go. I'm going to just do some gold, different shapes of gold. I have flowers. I have little gold ones big gold ones that's it but I think I do want to put some um, shoot something else of a different texture like I like these maybe I'll use a, hmm I think I'm just gonna use some yellow stars that would be pretty I'm gonna use these yellow stars these are the Martha Stewart um, chunky glitters so I'm going to put some of these in. Oh, that's pretty. All right. And that's it. Maybe that'll be enough. Maybe we'll see what a little bit looks like. Because this is fairly small, this star. Try to get it in there. It's kind of a, a nice little tool to have for, um, you know what? I never checked to see that it was all fused, like with my, um, uh, my bone folder. Well, so far so good. All right, we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna put, and you know what? These big sequins aren't gonna shake as much because these are smaller areas. So this is all kind of trial and error right now. Just make sure that's placed on again, get the shape. All right, and we're gonna seal this puppy up, pushing down. I don't know how in the shot I am but make sure you seal the top. And I think I'm good. Let's see what happened. Seems like it's working. It worked. 
and absolutely what I said is true the the bigger stuff isn't going to spread so for a littler shape you would want to um, put littler stuff inside all right so you know what the other one more thing I was thinking I was just going to do this circle and this will probably um, go pretty fast because it's just a circle let's see um, I was going to make a smiley face on here so I'll show you what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to turn it this way because this side's the open side and just the circle should go pretty quick, right? I mean you do have to kind of drag it along and let's see how that went. Didn't cut. You really have to go a little slower. I think that would be better. I'm going to go one more time. How much time do I have? Okay. And I just want to throw this out there, but I was going to do like paint or stickles does not stick to this. Like it'll, it, you can put it on it but it peels right off when it's dry. So I used um, puffy paint, scribbles, uh, perfect pearl, liquid pearls I mean, liquid pearls, all right, that should be good. But I have a double like line. Let's see if it's sealed. Oh yeah, oh, nope, open right here. Now, for that, for those types of things, I did kind of like, let's go back and see where it was. Um, this is good, it's over here, it's right, right here. I kind of just went like, I'm gonna burn that off. See, I just burnt that little edge off, and I'll bet you it's sealed now. Yep. Oh, there's a little hole still. But I think, I actually, I don't mind fiddling with this. I think it looks cleaner than having the, um, the other, the, the wheel marks on there. I like this look better. Now that's sealed. So you can just take your edge, take your thing, the bit, whatever it's called, the tip, and run it across like that. Okay, so we just ran out of time, but I gathered up a bunch of little yellow and gold sequins, um, and I found these little seed beads. These are, I don't know, they're the smaller e bead size, I don't know. But because this is round, I wanted to see I think it'll move around nicely in here. So I didn't put any glitter. Um, you know what, I'm so tempted to put, oh, I have this chunky glitter. I'm gonna put this in too. Mm, yes, I am, I'm gonna do it. Uh, because I think this heart oh, is gonna, um, and this is wow, gold, okay. So I didn't put any stars. You know what else I could put is um, some of this in hearts. I'm gonna put this in hearts. I think maybe I'm overdoing it now, but I'm gonna put some of this. Just some, they're so sparkly. Okay, now I have this open. I'm gonna hopefully get this in here. How do you do it? There we go. And just coax it in there. See that little, the little glitter tends to stick to the edges and that is not my, the look I like, but this, I think it's going to be okay. Okay, so most of, some of the glitter didn't go in, but I like that it's going to be able to move. All right, so let's get this sealed up and see what it looks like. I'm just going to take, stick my heart, I mean my heart, my circle back down and really give good pressure. So we get this all in one shot. I don't want to go back over. Take my time and really pushing. I'm really pushing more on the 
heart, I mean a heart, the circle shape, than the tool. All right, let's see if this came off. Please be sealed because I don't want it to all fall out. Yay, seems like it. <gasps> Yay, so far so good. Because if it falls out, if there's an opening now. All right, it's sealed. Look at that, okay. So look, that's just a big circle full of goodness. But you know what? The glitter is a mistake to me. Look, the glitter completely covers it. I'm gonna open this and do it again. I'm gonna do another one because I don't, I think that's a waste now of all that other stuff that even the beads can't move the thing around. Hmm. So anyway, um, I'll come back. Also, I wanted to share, um, yes, this stuff. So I have the liquid pearls in white, blue, and pink. I also have tulip, uh, is this tulip? Scribbles fabric paint. And these will definitely stick to the plastic well enough. Um, I would love like a gold and I do have a gold. I used it on here. But the scribbles comes out much thicker. I think this Perfect Pearls has a nicer tip to it. But see again, this is what happens when you put like a fine glitter in there. It really covers up all the other goodies that you put in. So I don't mind it as much for the cloud. The cloud looks pretty because it just has that iridescence around the edges and you can still see the glitter of the sequins. Um, and that the glass glitter, the glass glitter is okay too because it doesn't, ma it moves. It doesn't stick to the plastic. So that worked out okay. But this one completely, all that work I did of picking those nice sequins, I mean, it's definitely blingy, but then I, here's what I was thinking of doing with, um, like, let's just use black, because I'm going to, I'll cut this open and I'll take everything out of there and I'll redo it, but I was thinking you could do like a, a smiley face. Oh, I got to make sure I have an opening. Like, I don't know if it, if it will look right. I mean, you got to be kind of quick. Oh, I just got black all over me. And this comes out thick. Yeah, way too thick. I just got a clump. Oh man, it's not open. There's something stuck in there. This is a bit messy. I'm just getting a butt wipe over here. So this is, you know, a little bit of what not to do as well. Maybe get this started. Get it started first. But this really has a wide tip. it's stuck again. I don't know, there's something in there that is keeps coming up to the surface, like there's a chunk that's very close to the tip that like keeps getting back into the tip. Hold on, one more eye here. I'm going to try and just, I wanted to leave a little space. Nah, it's filling in. And there's bubbles. This eye is smaller. So that's what I was thinking. Like, it is not exactly what I planned, but it's way too thick. This, for some reason, this black enamel, I think I'm going to try uh, a different brand. Like, even though that nozzle looks um, very thin, it's the consistency of the paint. Now, if you do a perfect pearls, I'll just go around the edge of this um, star with the white. Maybe not the white. Um, I think white's fine, we'll see. But it really has, an, I can get this line really thin, and that was crooked. But you can get this line really thin, and the faster you move, you can stretch it out. So if they have this in a gold color, I think that would be fantastic for this particular piece. Oops, I'm getting stuff all over. And that actually has a clog now. I can't, I'm squeezing really hard and it won't come out. 
All right, so that's what I've, okay, I did mention I had stickles on all of these before and love the way it looked, but it comes right off. It peels right off. So this is my flower. I like that. And I'll put pink around that. Um, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, I hope you try your um, pointed tip. It's definitely, it gives a different look. Oh, this one has to, there we go. Um, it gives a different look. A different finished look than the um the wheel oh this had little bits around the edges um just gonna take that off see this had like a little piece of plastic that you just want to make sure you don't have any bits that are gonna mess you up but I actually like that all right you guys and look my smiley face looks kind of cute too I just think that was way too thick um, and then I probably just go around the outside with white but um, alright you guys thanks for watching